Hello and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3 with our Soviet campaign where I'm just derping around and I have no clue what I'm doing. So yeah, that's I think because to the question. Speaking of not knowing what, what I'm doing, um, I don't know what Germany is doing. They are finally invading Belgium, sort of. I really have no clue what they're doing proper. Is they're not invading France, but they are technically at war. They should be at war. Let's look at the diplomatic map mode real quick. Do I have one? Diplomatic map mode. Germany. Oh, that's just ours. I cannot look at Germans. Ah, pricks. But they should be at war. When we look at this, um, at war with Germany and Slovakia. You know, that's just weird. Um, speaking of just weird. Perhaps I should change your priority a bit. Not at German front. But... Oh, let's just remove all that. I should not have a goal. Objective is Grondo. We still have an objective. Where? Where is it? What else Grondo? Anyway, I just want you to take that. Focus on that for now. Are you aligned to anybody? Influence with Germany, grants military access to Poland. I think I'm actually gonna take um, this and I might even move into Yugoslavia. I don't know. Influence with Germany. If Germany can't do much, so we're just gonna take these Baltic states and let's see. Budapest, Hungary. Hungary is an excellent move. So Hungary is actually off limits for now, uh, but we're gonna take um, a few of the minor nations. Bulgaria is aligned towards the Axis. Greece is probably um, an Allies member. Oh, it's not just aligning to the Allies. So it's actually might just take a couple of these. Uh, uh, is it called the Baltics? I can't remember. Alright. Um, attach to third core. I don't really care what, where you attach to. You can build a factory there. Um, how do you think you are doing? You just need two planes. Okay, let's just fire the wind war. Um, claim on, claim on what now? Basar Basarabia? Use our claims Basarabia. Let's move on. Oh, just gained some land. Nice. Um, and you should... Go on the attack, air offensive, naval offensive. Come we've lost. We're losing against these guys, aren't we? Thought you said your power was more than enough. We'll see what happens. Uh, military access from Xinjiang, sure, take it. Um, wow, this just looks weird. So this actually meant, all right. Uh, as well, war now, I think I need to change this. Just prioritize reinforcements now for a while. I would have thought, right, that the AI was smart enough to properly do this, but apparently I'm wrong here. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm so shit. Um, you 
You got quite a lot of troops underneath you, right? I don't actually don't know how much you got. Western Front, just... It's not much, actually. But... I want you to attach to the Scandinavian HQ. Start helping, I guess. Because we otherwise we'll be losing. Christ, I thought... See, this is... I'm so reliant on the AI to tell me that, yes, what we're doing right now, that is right. Um, it almost looks like I am more or less fighting the Winter War as it used to go. Oh, we did take back this, alright, so we did... We managed to strike back there. Lost a little bit of land over here, which is mildly surprising. We'll see how this walks out. Um, see, this is why I don't trust the AI. <laughs> I wish I knew how to play the game on my own. No longer trading with Germany. Germany was smart, they would attack now. Oh, by the way, just, just as that you know, don't expect me to win. Because I am pretty damn sure that I will not. Um, let's see. Yeah, if you don't win this, I'm going to be sour. Um... Conquer Turkey. You're still moving a lot of stuff, or, or are you ready? I think most of it is here. This is very thin, to be honest. Ah, uh, we'll just risk it. Um, conquer Romania. It means that you should be preparing, you should be attacking. Offensive, you don't have any naval, but whatever. Um, you should no longer be preparing, but you know, attacking, offensive, offensive. I really should just turn this off, uh, display and log. Um, why? Because It's automated, right? It's I don't really have any use of seeing these messages because uh, I don't know what it, I don't know much what they mean. Um, province lost. Romania strikes in. How strong is Romania here? Interesting question. Wow, their estimated power just went up quite a bit. Um, hmm. Let's need air power, a little naval power. I think we should push, be able to push through this. Um, mechanical computing. Yeah, I can't wait till it's fine for. <laughs> hopefully be a game that I can actually properly understand. Um, after long operation of Soviet when I broke to finish defenses, finish small pork, blah, blah, blah. I could take everything, but I will just we'll set up for what we asked for. Good. Alright. We should no longer be at war with Finland, I think. Yes. Good. Um, that means one of these, the Western Front HQ, can go. Yeah, you. Detach and reattach to the Western HQ. Your task is defensive. And it's not to take any land right now. It's to protect 
land Leningrad and stuff like that. Is there any in, anything else here? Because that is it what you need to protect. Right. Um Attached to your core. With troops, have, with troops in foreign territories, they should automatically retreat. Right. Ah, we, we are pushing in. And we're also winning against Turkey. I have, have I even mobilized here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's look at our laws. I cannot go there because we don't have enemies. Hmm. I think we've got all the laws as much as we can get them. It kind of sucks, but... In Kolushki? Where the fuck is that to begin with? That's you. You're... Going over there, right? Okay. Wish I could turn this one off, but... Um... Okay. I think we're winning against Romania. See, that's the, that's the thing. I have... I cannot judge my own strength relatively compared to what others do. Now I just... Um, I rely on the AI to do exactly... To tell me what exactly needs to be done. And I, that's... Well, you know, that's not the correct way to do this. I think... Okay, so Turkey has fallen. That's pretty damn clear to me. Um... I wish I could sense it more. I wish I could determine more of that. Okay, this is what we actually need. Um, so if I look like people like Quill, um, he actually understands what he's doing. I think he understands what he's doing. And, you know, being jealous is like, it's not the right word, but it's basically what it means for me. Because I have no clue what I'm doing. I understand enough to, to, to basically manage to play a passive game. But being an aggressor and actually winning, that is an entirely different thing. That's the problem. This game doesn't give you a lot of feedback, you know? Um, if you compare to Secret 2 and EU4, I get, you get a lot more feedback in comparison. Because I know when wars are going bad and I usually tend to know why. But there is so much in it you need to keep an eye on. All these minor uh, numbers that you you're, 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 you need to concentrate on. Um, so we're doing good reinforcements. I think we should do some upgrades um, for a while and upgrade our forces to the latest tech. Just taking. Oh, so we actually are finally building T-34s? Or are we not? Yes, we are. Nice. It's completely stupid, but that's stuff I like. Is it important? No. Um. So let's take a look. Surrender progress 28%. I don't think we've got many victory points yet, do we? No, look at half it or something. Oh, that's not something I wanted to do. Alright. And you? City of the central defense. You can take that for you as well. Wow, Romania is doing a lot better than I was expecting them to do. Um, guy, Willem did the last cut of German and passed away today at the age of 82. Willem fled into exile into the Netherlands at the conclusion of the First World War after abdicating the throne and vowing after returning to Germany until the monarchy had been restored. He assumed the throne in 1888 upon the death of his grandfather Willem I and Willem, his father Willem Frederick III, who reigned for 99 days. His eldest son, the former crown prince Willem, who commanded the fifth army during the Great War, is now the head of the House of 
Hohenzollern. Zollern? I don't know. The German is not that bad, but that's... That's just, I don't know what it should have been. Okay, so we... Okay, so we did take Turkey. That's good. Um, that's the start. That's the start. I think our next target might be Persia? And Afghanistan? Stick this bit here. Iraq is, I think, a member of the Allies. Yes. Um... Well, actually, I think we're going to use this army to us to move into this uh, region here. Um, I'm sorry, uh, what are you again? Bulgaria. Production license inquiry, sorry. No. Education is three years ahead of time now. So how are we in the production here? Yeah. Still up needing a lot of upgrades. We're not producing anything. Uh, I should usually focus more on reinforcing right now, but I want the upgrades to be done at some point. All right. I think when Turkey is done for, I'm gonna modernize this army a bit. At least attempt to. Uh, mechanized offense advanced. I'm surprised at how bad this is going. And again, look at the um, amount of forces it's not spending on. It's trying to. Uh, that's, I think that's the problem with the HQ system. Um, here, I think I need to just tell him, okay. Um, this is not your responsibility. This is not your responsibility. The responsibility is just that. Just, you know, move all your troops downwards. Yeah, that should do it. That should more focus all, this, all of these soldiers. Now, come on, Turkey. How uh, desperate are you? 56%. You saw the force conquer Greece. Unit support supply. Probably because they're moving too quick. I don't know. Build some more infrastructure, but I wonder what it will actually do. So we're actually in a stalemate against Romania here. Well, I'll call it a stalemate, but... Uh, this stuff, this is surprising. These guys are... Reserve unit is mobilized and will force to its full strength. How much of these are reserve units? Right, um... Oh, come on, how much do these guys still have got left? We can get Constantinople, we should be fine. Istanbul, I'm sorry, it's called Istanbul these days. Mm. So you were correct about your estimation in enemy power. You were most definitely not. What is you? You need nothing. You need a lot. You need 142. Right, you are trying to defend these borders. That's not something you should worry on right now. Uh, for now, you worry about it because I need this army to, you know, do its, do its thing. So I don't think the, uh, the the Turks have any army left, to be honest. Not anything at all. So yeah, we're gonna focus on these states here. Um, these are the Baltics. What are you called again? I don't know. I can't remember what's... I'm a fucking European, I should know this. I can't remember what we call this region here. Just off the top of my head, it's just... Just pull a blank here. It's occupied by... Provinces owned by Greece. Wait, what? Who occupied... Oh, Yugoslavia does. Right. Right, just... 
Wow. Woo! Reinforced. Turkey. Nice. Um, you don't need to do that right now. Can I remove um, HQ? Everything needs to be applied to an HQ, right? You don't bother about that. Um, this is not your responsibility for now. Right, so you should really request a lot of troops. Um, you guys actually are gonna in interest currently lies in that. Are you allied with anybody? At war with a lot. Bulgaria is an Axis member. Okay. Yugoslavia is an Axis member. So okay, so that is actually something you need to concentrate on. Um. You guys are going to be responsible for taking the Baltic... Not the Baltics. Why do I keep calling them the fucking Baltics? Slavic. Are they Slavic? I don't know. Really. Western HQ, what do you request? Just some mountain infantry. Alright, uh, we'll focus on this. I think we should do that. Uh, that'll run for a while. Let's see what happens. Let's look actually at do, 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 strategic effects. I don't think we've got any of these. Wow. We don't even have Grand Army yet. Great Army. Are oh, we getting close actually? Um, victory conditions. How are we doing? We're actually leading. <laughs> Turkey, Karelia, Czechoslovakia, Frankfurt, this is Germany, Norway, and Greece, East Germany. So we, at some point, we actually got to um, pull back into um, this region here. At some point. But first, we need to get this, this bit under our control. You need nothing. Wrong thing. You need a lot. Yeah, you need a lot of stuff. Heavy tank, armor advance. Nice. Wonder we get. Wonder when we get IS ones. Like I said, okay. So I said I'm gonna modernize this army. I'm actually still agreeing with that. Um, I want to get a lot of mechanized. Um, what's the difference between motorized and mechanized? Motorized got trucks, mechanized got APCs? Interesting question, actually. Light armor will be. No, not heavy armor, crap. Um, you would just become armor. So manually upgrading here. Actually, let me just look that up real quick. I think, um, if I remember correctly, Mechanize is actually having um, APCs and stuff like that. Motorized is simply um, troops that got transportation. Um, let's see. Mechanize. Uh, versus motorized infantry. Let's see, mechanized infantry, thing of motorized infantry. Okay, so actually, Wikipedia actually defines it. Ooh, hold it. What's my the USA likes us. Alright, so we've got a lot of stuff here. Oh, so Germany actually managed to march into France, finally. France defeated... Blah, 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 last number six weeks, they overestimated the spirit... Blah, 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 blah. France, shame of the feet, Netherlands... USA, undeclared war... Siam is mobilizing veteran army! Woohoo! What is it? 
Uh, strategic effects, how do you get it? Ah, we just fought enough battles. Nice. I like it. Fair army. Uh, nice we get up before our war with Germany, because at some point they will. Netherlands, trade, a force or attack. These are just... Let's see. France, feature France regime. And I would think that everybody knows what that is. Ah, we're finally moving in. Anyway, anyway. Are infantry equipped with armor personnel carriers or infantry fighting vehicles for transport? Um... Let's see, so first is motorized infantry who transport by trucks is un or other unprotected motor vehicles. It's distinguished from mechanized infantry with armored personnel carriers of infantry fighting vehicles. So basically, um, mech motorized is just quick, in is faster moving infantry. Motorized is actually harder hitting infantry. So let's get some mechanized here as well. Let's just mechanize the fuck out of this army. It's gonna be expensive to run. It's gonna be worth it though. Like I said, still I wish there was a button. I'm just not, we're gonna not mechanize everything because that's gonna be fucking silly. It's gonna take four fucking ever to do that. Um. Oh my, we are doing fairly a lot better with our production chain than expected. Um, um, yeah, we'll keep it like this for now, actually. Oh, sorry, hitting the mic. Um, because I could I could reinforce the Scandinavian HQ, but there's no use because they don't have the correct theater currently applied to them. Mm -hmm. Um, sorry, that's my phone. People are messaging me. I don't know how well it gets into the recording when it's lying on the table with some mic stands on. Um, let's look at technology. I think we can lower our officer count a bit. Let's put that at, let's say, oh, don't do that. Five? Oh, just five. Yep, there we go. That should speed up our other stuff. Um, armor, you can go back and start researching that. So our first heavy tank advancements just came through. And this is, this is, this is why I'm interested in this game. Stuff like, uh, you know, the T-34, the KV-1+, plus. I think it's still outdated slightly compared to the T-34. Alright, so we're finally winning this war uh, against Bulgaria. Great. Um, once we're out of this war, I'm actually going to prioritize a little bit more on um, upgrades. Um, just so we use um, modern equipment. Brazil's been second to the Allies. That's the Defense, Spirit, Doctrine. Oh, we can build some tank divisions. Um, you will be attached to 3rd Mechanized Corps. Makes sense. I'm surprised that these, they're not really asking for a lot of mech... Uh, a little bit, they're asking for a bit, but not much. Um, Alright, so, okay, so we finally have overrun these guys. Great. Um, it took a long fucking time to do so. Jesus, man. So, this province lost Turkish nationalists. Oh. Hmm. Yours, of course, your Middle Eastern theatre. Um, let's take a look at this real quick at our... Oh, this is weird. Um, it's most definitely weird. Yeah, you're gonna need a lot of stuff. Um, yeah. You guys should be able to move in. Pact concluded. Purge has been set up to the Axis. Ugh. Well. Perhaps I should make a separate front here. Alright, just for shits and giggles. Um, let's just check. 
It's the IS-1. That's not an IS-1 though, that's a... Hmm... I can't remember. But that's definitely not an IS-1. That's an old, that's a really old tank actually. That's a, that, that, that one, that picture, that is predates the, I, the KV-1. That's very ancient um, Russian, yeah, you could say medium or heavy armor. It's a infantry support tank, tank I think. Can't just mobilize during peacetime. It's a fair point, actually. Um, right. I think we should really focus a, some of our production strength into our Central Russian HQ. There we go. How long would this take? January 25th. Jesus Christ. Okay, mechanized infantry takes a long time to build. Ah, we took this. So before I'm gonna end the video, I'm gonna... Scandinavian HQ, you don't need this anymore. Um, you, however, you're gonna retake this. And all of it. So Scandinavia no longer has to worry about this. There we go. This is all your responsibility. You can have this as well. All right, that should focus you more on the other stuff. Let's put some victory location points in here. Because both of these will become common turn at some point. Um, Oslo, seriously, the only victory point you got? Well. Oh, right. So that's gonna take a while before he realizes that. Just should change these numbers. Jesus Christ, how much do you think you need, man? You don't need to defend that border anymore. It's all up to you now, Western HQ. You think you need a little bit. That's just wrong, man. All right, um, I should fix this real quick. You no longer need. So we already got that. Because um, we've only got that. Okay. Um, your objectives are, if you choose to accept them, let's take a look. So, let's just give him the German objectives. They should focus him at the correct front. Still thinks he needs very little, which is shocking, I'll be honest with you. Because I think he needs a lot more. Just, just some bombers, some mountain stuff. Uh, I don't think you're right here, man. I think I need to put my own uh, hand at work here. Because my Scandinavian HQ seems a lot more realistic about what they need to do. And they don't, um, they still have this front with them. Why? Your... This might just be the AI that's not really doing the damnedest. So it should not have this as a front anymore. Why are you considering... Okay, so that might be a little bit of bug that we're experiencing here. Uh, Scandinavian HQ. Your only need to focus on... These points here. It should change your front significantly. Yeah, there it is. Now, it, now he's doing it right. You're having supply problems, haven't you? Uh, let's see. We're gonna do that. Uh, 
Uh, okay, you should not worry about those. I just want you to focus on the offensive stuff. You're part of the Central Russian HQ, right. Yeah, you need your troops, actually. So, we'll start with building our Central Russian HQ stuff. Then we'll go for the Western, then Middle East, Scandinavia, and then Far East. Just build that what we need, man. Are those factories still somewhere? Yeah, good. They're important. All right, with that, I want to thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. We're actually making some progress. Not much, but we took um, Bulgaria and we took uh, Turkey, which were, I think, Romania. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm... Um, well, yeah, we are actually currently leading in the victory point uh, here. I'm surprised. Okay. And with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Have a very good day. Bye-bye.